Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm so happy that you guys joined me in today's video. If you're new, welcome. My name is Keisha. I do beauty videos, reviews, and hauls. If that's something that you're interested in, I would love it if you join the family. Hit the red subscribe button right below this video and don't forget to turn on all notifications so you're not missing any of my videos and as soon as I post, you're the first to know. Now let's get into this video. So on my face right now, guys, I have the Jart Cosmetics BB Plus Illuminate face cream my eyes and my brows off camera so that this video is not too long and then for my eyes I use a Jaclyn Hill um, number two palette and I just use a really dark purple on the lid and in the crease I use a light purple and that's it my lashes from Aliexpress We'll link everything in the description box. So check that out if you want to see anything. So the first thing I'm trying out, guys, is the Becca Matte Poreless Primer. I heard a lot of good things about it. I just never gotten around to trying it. I'm not sure how much I should use, but I'm just going to start off with this much. Even though I want to be matte, I still don't want to be dry. So that's why I put on the Illuminating Cream before so that's it for the primer now i can actually see that my face is looking a little bit matte i'm going to be using two of the kat von d foundations i'm mixing because one is a little bit too red and one's a little bit too light so i'm just gonna mix it and try to get the perfect balance i'm using tan 068 and tan 072 you have to give it a good shake you guys see red that foundation is we're gonna get this foundation together so don't worry about that guys i know it's looking a little orange and the color is off like i know trust me i know so to go ahead and contour my face i am going to use a tart shape concealer this is 61 h now this is really deep so that's going to neutralize out this foundation Again, we're using the Tarte shape. This is 47S. I'm gonna use a brush to brush. I'm gonna use a brush to blend the contour area. I'm not gonna go straight in with the sponge, guys, because sometimes when you do that, it tends to lift up the concealer and then you don't really see it. So I'm gonna use this really small, fluffy brush right here. That brush did a beautiful job right there. I'm gonna go back in with the sponge and just make sure that we didn't bring that highlight down too far and we don't have any line. And it's just a seamless transition from light to dark. Without even setting this, like I can definitely see the effect of the mattifying primer like my face has never looked this matte okay guys so now for the start of the show my Chanel powder this is my first time using this powder always wanted to pick it up but I was like should I shouldn't I then when I went into Macy's they were having a 20% off so I was like you know what let me just get it always wanted to try it it's a perfect time just get it you know you want it the essay there was so nice and um, it gave me a nice chanel box he gave me a bag and he wrapped it up and everything i was just like so blown away with the presentation the customer service was like mwah, chef kiss really really great customer service and loved every moment of my purchase hope this is a packaging I got the number 40. I got this in the store at 34th, 33rd Street in Manhattan. You do get this little powder puff here. I'm not gonna use mine because I don't wanna get it messed up. Love the packaging, love the container. 30 grams, wow, that's a lot, you know. I'm going to go ahead and pour it out. Looks like it may be a little bit too dark for my under eye because this is the Laura Mercier. I don't know if you guys can see the color of the Laura Mercier translucent one is way lighter than this one. So I don't know if it would be best for all over 
or under the eye but i bought it for under the eye if it doesn't work i'm gonna go exchange it so i'm using this brush here from morphe it's their y11 brush nice and fluffy brush i'm gonna just knock off the excess that doesn't look bad mm, has a beautiful smell I'm just gonna continue to set. I'm not gonna bake necessarily, I'm just gonna set. So that sets really, really pretty. Very finely milled powder, which, you know, you don't really expect anything less, but I'm kind of shocked of how smooth that under eye looks right there. You can see it here with the, just the concealer, and this side with the powder set. Wow, that looks so good. I can't get over how matte and just flawless and smooth my skin looks so far. But now that I've bronzed, I want to deepen it up a little bit and I want to contour. For contour, I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to use the darkest shade right here in the palette. I'm just using that same brush that I used to set my under eye. From Morphe and this I'm just taking right in the hollows of my face okay guys so my battery died so I just sprayed my face with the Morphe um, continuous setting spray and now I'm going to use my highlighter from Jarred Cosmetics I'm going to highlight just a high point of my face just before the setting spray kind of dried down nice and bright shining like a diamond on my lips i have the so juicy lip gloss from ColourPop. so the primer right now i definitely do like it i am going to keep it my skin is looking really flawless and it's matte and it looks looking gorgeous on screen and in person as well for the chanel powder definitely 100 percent a keeper for me I love this I think this out of all the powders that I have and I don't have a lot but I have a few I have the Laura Mercier which I thought was my favorite but no not anymore then I have the Huda Beauty which when I got it I was blown away by this powder and I still love this powder to this day I have two actually I have Kunafa and I have Blondie and I love both of them equally I must say and then I have the Maybelline Fit Me which is a really great powder but I don't have it for under my eyes I have it for bronzing and I love it for that and I tried the ear sponge powder I don't really love it under my eye or really under my face I pretty much use this right now only for my wigs <laughs> yeah for my wigs when i put on the concealer i use this powder to set the concealer because it really keeps it in place for my face it was a little bit too white and a little bit too drying so i i didn't really like it for that um i've tried the um which other powder i've tried i've tried the um Kat Von D powder didn't really like it for under the eye so much after I use it for a while sometimes it comes out great and it's flawless and everything and then sometimes it's just a little bit too white and ashy so I don't want to be bothered with it it just depends on which concealer I use if I use a really light concealer or if I use um, like like my skin tone type of concealer so i was like no i don't want i'd never repurchased it i finished it but i never repurchased it i've also used a sasha buttercup i finished it but i never repurchased it because i wasn't in love with it it was a little bit too yellow and again sometimes it leaves my under eye just a little bit too dry and kind of crepey looking and sometimes it was flawless and beautiful i couldn't be bothered with the flip flap type of powder i just wanted something that's going to work all the time every time and i think i may have found it in this powder right here guys blendability and the smoothness and the texture and the smell and everything the packaging i'm in love with 100 percent i'm just not sure about the undertone this is the number 40 i'm not sure if i want to go up 
on camera it looks perfect like for everyday under eye powder it's not overly bright it's not ashy or anything but when i want to be really glammed up and really want my under eye to stand out i don't know if i needed to use a lighter concealer or I need to get a, a, a lighter shade let me know what you guys think do you think I should stick with this number 40 or do you think I should probably go up because I love a bright under eye when I'm like fully glammed and everything okay guys thank you again so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for help your girl out subscribe share and thumbs up this video so YouTube can share my videos with more people and your girl can grow around here so thanks again and I'll catch you guys in my next one